Hey, welcome back to the channel. I didn't get into uh, DAT audio mastering until the early 90s. I bought my first DAT deck in 1992. And before that, for at least four or five years, I did all my audio mastering onto VHS tape. And let me tell you, I was not the only one and it sounded very good. Back then, and I talked to some of my audio friends at the time, we had heard that Betamax had a similar hi-fi stereo recording system that sounded even better. And so we were always eager to try that out. But personally, I never had the chance to check out uh, Betamax hi-fi stereo recording for mastering my audio. That is, until now. This is the Sony SL-HF100ES PAL Stereo Hi-Fi VCR from 1985. It's using depth multiplexing to record its audio. A Betamax machine. And I'm gonna feed it this new old stock Sony Dynamicron Hi-Fi tape to record my audio on. Do you remember the smell of uh, opening a new tape like this? It sure brings back a lot of memories just by doing that. The stickers, of course, we used to uh, label everything. And we're ready. This was quite an expensive player back in 1985 in Norway. It cost up towards $1,000. And it has some pro functionality as well as the recording levels. You can adjust separately for the left and right channel. And even if this particular machine has seen some recent service, a couple of the LED lights segments in the lower meter here is actually broken, so they won't light up, but it doesn't take away from the, from the sound, of course. A couple of other features on this particular model is that you can choose to record audio only on the tape. If you don't want to uh, record video at all, you can use all of the tape for audio. It also has a multiplex filter on or off, MPX. When you record frequency modulated audio, you will always have a high pitched tone embedded in the audio, which might or might not be audible. So with the MPX filter on when you record, this will in theory be canceled out. You have to experiment with this. In the first audio example, I've recorded the audio with the MPX filter on. Here's the same segment, now with the MPX filter off when I recorded.
Here's the Akai VS-G770 Stereo Hi-Fi VCR. No manual adjustments, MPX filters or anything like that. And I also suspect it has an inbuilt limiter, so it will probably start to pump the sound a little bit. So I recorded the same audio onto this Super VHS tape, and you can record audio onto a Super VHS tape in a non-Super VHS VCR. That's perfectly fine. So let's hear it. Finally, let's compare back to back the Betamax, the VHS, and the mastered 24 bit audio of the same song. And the song I'm using in this comparisons and throughout the video is my track Midnight Drive 5 Giallo, which is now out on Bandcamp.
On my Patreon page, you can download the audio from this entire video if you're interested in checking out these comparisons clips without the YouTube compression. I would definitely continue to use this Betamax Hi-Fi Stereo VCR for mastering my audio. And not because I have to, but I really like the sound of FM recorded audio. It reminds me of listening to radio back in the day and I love the sound of that. So this is definitely a format I will continue to use because I like it. If you like this video, feel free to comment in the comment section and like the video if you did. I'm Espencroft, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Cheers!